So today, I have a takeoff of Wagamama's Bang Bang Cauliflower. I had found their recipe online and just made a few tweaks, made it a little less greasy because that is the one thing I do not like about takeout Chinese food. But otherwise, the recipe is so easy and delicious. So I hope you all enjoy. So to start off with, I am going to roast one head of cauliflower, 425 degrees for right around 25 minutes. No oil or anything. I'm just looking to get some char on it and get rid of some of that moisture from the cauliflower. Now, meanwhile, we can get started on that bang bang cauliflower sauce. It has a couple of ingredients to it. Recipe is going to be down below, but you can make this in big batches and then save them for future recipes. So I have some sweet chili sauce, some vegan oyster sauce, soy sauce, murin. Again, the recipe is gonna be down below, a little sriracha to make it nice and spicy. And then this is actually blackstrap molasses. I started using this as a sweetener a little while ago and it works really well uh, in this sauce. It makes it nice and thick. So afterwards, just mix everything together and then you are going to heat it up over the stove for right around seven to eight minutes. You just want the sauce to thicken up and then that way it can coat the cauliflower a little better. So I'm just frying up some scallions and a red onion over medium high heat. And I'm just doing that for a couple of minutes, make sure that they don't burn or anything until they get kind of brown and nice and crispy. And then I'm gonna add everything in. It comes together so quickly, it is so, so easy. Now, a very quick word about how much of that sauce to add. The original recipe called for the entire amount that we made. And I found that like three tablespoons pretty much did. And if you find that it doesn't coat all of the cauliflower, I would just add a little bit of water, deglaze the pan, it will come out fine. Because if you add the whole amount, this can get pretty salty. So how good does that look and how easy was the recipe? The sauce definitely had a couple of ingredients, but once you make it again, do it in batches because it flavors vegetables really, really well. And because the sauce is so potent, it does make the cauliflowers quite flavorful. So it's perfect over a bed of rice, over a bed of quinoa, and it just makes everything really flavorful. Anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed this recipe and I am looking for suggestions for Veganuary. I know that a lot of people try to go plant-based around uh, this time of the year and they're probably looking for some easy and really delicious recipes. So if y'all have ideas, please send them my way and recipes that you want to see. 
as usual, if you want to see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys all again next time. Bye.